have a secret to purchasing real estate that works 100% of the time. It's probably the most powerful negotiating secret I've ever used. What is it? When you find something that's fairly priced and you like it, pay the price. Don't quibble. If it's what you want and it's fair, buy it. The home was built as a diplomatic party residence by the honorary ambassador to Italy. As if Italian politicians needed an additional place to party. <laughs> For me, the building had wonderful bones, but was to convert it to something that reflected my personal taste. I enjoy the, the warmth of metal and Metal is clean, it's simple, it's functional, and combined with leather, creates a space that I feel very comfortable in and is emblematic of what is, to me, one of the most significant design periods in our country's history. I love details, to a fault. So that we want the rivet construction to be consistent with what was done during the period. You can't buy these pieces. So everything here was purpose built. But for example, the serving trays were originally designed for the DC-3, the early commercial DC-3s in the late 30s and 1940s. I incorporate those into the serving trays of the house. The furniture we're sitting in here is licensed by Disney. And it's a copy of the furniture from Walt Disney's office. It's very functional. We designed the end tables to mirror the curve, wherever possible, originals if they're in good shape and can be used or more practical. The house itself should be art. Sometimes metal, stainless, can be seen as somewhat cold. So the idea was, what is a metal that could evoke more warmth? And copper, of course, can be done and is very striking in, in large spaces or small spaces, but it enables you to pull in warmer colors and the browns and the reds and other colors, and it gives a unique but a complementary feel. The top floor is, a, is encapsulated and it's a contained living unit that has everything from office and television room, master bedroom, dressing areas, bath, balcony, and is protected, it's secured, and it is able to sustain itself through hurricanes and other threats as a standalone pod. The room we're sitting in is the design inspiration is the nose cone of a Zeppelin. And the idea was to take a room and surround yourself in the metals of that age, which would have been the machine age period. I enjoy living artifacts. Every time you walk into a room, there's a bit of a surprise that though there's some continuity in the style, the design of each room is distinct and it stands on its own. <laughs>